Hey, how y'all doing out there? Well, we got us another episode of Doing It Cheap. I had uh, been asked if I would go into more detail on how I made that that uh, TV antenna. You know, that picks up all kinds of all kinds of stations and everything. And I said, all right, I can do that. I can do that. But like I say, I got these. I, I took two or three different videos that I saw from other people and incorporated different things that I liked about different people's designs. One, some of them would just do this on a piece of wood. Well, the other guy says, well, wood is, if it gets wet, it's going to degrade your signal. There could be some possibility about the moisture issues and all that. Uh, another guy did it with PVC pipe, but I didn't like the layout of his, of his, uh, of his antenna wires and all that. So uh, I just took different ideas and and devised this one. So basically, I want to I want to go through all the details now of all the measurements, everything that's critical, and then. Uh, I'll make sure it's on the screen so you can see it. You can pause the video. You can write everything down. You might want to get you a piece of paper and a pencil. But anyway, let's let's start off with uh, what you're going to need. You're going to need a piece of three quarter inch or one inch PVC pipe. Heck, if you got an inch and a quarter uh, or inch and a quarter or inch and a half, it work. But you know, it's just a lot easier to handle a, a one inch piece or a three quarter inch piece. And it needs to be about four or five foot long, about four or five foot. And then you're going to need some 14 gauge wire. Now my wire that I use is galvanized wire. This is 14 gauge galvanized wire. And you're going to need to get you some, you can still use 14 gauge wire for these wires running down, but a smaller wire will work just fine. This one here is probably a uh, probably a 16 gauge maybe. I think it was just off some at a, what they call it, safety wire, you buy a little roll like a Harbor Freight. And you're gonna need some self-tapping screws. You don't want them any longer than three quarter inch. And if they are, well the main thing is, when you look down in that pipe right there, when you look down in that pipe, if if them screws touch one another, you have, you've ruined what you're trying to do. So. You got to make sure that the screws are short enough that when you when they you put them through, they don't touch one another. And if you need to, you can use longer ones and just run them in, and then run them back out and cut off the ends of them and put them back in there. All right. So you're gonna need some self-tapping screws, 14 gauge wire, little lighter gauge wire. You're gonna need that thing I was talking about in that other video. This. Again, we call it a TV antenna transformer, but a fancy name is Balaam or something like that. It just is where you you, you uh, hook uh, hook wires underneath the screws here, and then you can plug your coax onto it. So anyway, let me go into some more detail. Uh, you want to take your piece of pipe, come down a few inches because your wires here stick up above where they're mounted so I, I can come down about six inches or so it's not real critical you can come down a foot if you wanted to <coughs> but you you want to make your first mark basically draw your line straight down lay this lay that piece of pipe up against a two by four or something and, and inscribe your line with a magic marker all the way down there come down like I say six inches eight inches a foot if you want to and make your first mark and then from there on down, you make your mark nine and a half inches. So you're gonna have four marks, nine and a half inches apart. And right dead center between one, between number two and number three, you wanna measure exactly half of that. That'd be what? Half a nine and a half, it'd be four and three quarters. So you wanna Make your mark here at four and three quarter, or whatever the halfway point is, because that's where you're going to attach your transformer. All right. Now, let's talk about this wire that's running around the outside of it. I want you to think of a candy cane. Okay. You know, it's got the red and white stripes that go down like that right there. All right. They don't go down and then change directions and go the other way. They come down the same direction all the way down. Okay. 
Well, what we want you to do here is when you start right up here with a little wire under that screw, it wraps around, and I'm gonna look at it from the top. It's gonna wrap around clockwise. It's gonna come right around to this and on this side. Then you shoot straight down and then wrap clockwise around to the bottom one, okay? So we started on the on your right. We wrapped around to your left. We dropped straight down to number three. We wrap around clockwise down here to number four. Ended up back here on the right. So your wire's on the your right, your left, left, right. And notice the wire goes straight down here, and that's where you're putting a, putting a screw for your transformer. Okay. I hope that's clear as mud. Anyway, you got two of them wires. They both do the same thing. They wrap right around it clockwise from one one thing to the other, and then straight down to number three, and they wrap clockwise down to number four. All right, let's talk about these wires right here. Those wires right there need to be 20 inches long. 20 inches long. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to step right over here and I'm going to grab a piece of telephone wire just as a demonstration to show you how to actually shape this. All right, hold on just a second. Let me lay it right there. And we're back with more of Jeopardy. Okay. Get your pair of Lyman's pliers. They're, they're awful handy. Lyman's pliers are real good for grabbing, twisting, cutting. They'll, they'll, they'll cut the ends and bolts off if they're too long. All right. Now, just for demonstration, I'm using a, a big soft piece of wire so it's easy for me to bend it here on camera. And I'm using a big old lag screw. That little screw you put in that antenna ain't nowhere near this big. All right, but this is so you can see it on the camera. Let me step up here. So we're gonna take this 20 inch piece of wire and we wanna fold it exactly in half, all right? We'll fold it exactly in half. Find the end. Now, if you're smart, you will have marked that at 10 inches. So you know exactly where the halfway point is. And I would have done that, but I'm, using, I'm just demonstrating so it don't matter. You put your little screw in there, not a great big one like I got here now, but you put a little one in there, right in that thing right there. And then you want to take them lineman's pliers or regular pliers, whatever you got, and you want to, you want to squeeze that on there. Just like that, all right? So it looks just like that, all right? Now I'm gonna pull that screw out so you can see what we got. All right. So you got something that looks like that. All right. Now then, where well, the other guys was a little confused when they talked about bending 90 degrees. If you if you didn't zoom in and try to figure out exactly what they was doing, it was confusing. What you want to do now is take your pliers. and bend it like that, okay? The idea being, when you, when you screw this, <clears throat> when you screw this into that pipe, then you can spread your wires, okay? I'm, hope, I'm hoping this shows up. So, you go from that, you screw it in place, and then you can open up your wires. Now, this distance right here, that distance right there, needs to be five and a half inches. Okay, five and a half inches. And the distance between wire one and the two and three and four all needs to be the same. So if this is five and a half inches, you know, you've got half of it in here, that's two and three quarter. And you come down that nine and a half inch mark, and that's two and three quarter, so there's five and a half. You're trying to scratch your head and figure it all out. 
I'll have it figured out. I'll put it down here on the on the screen for you. But the idea is now you want this to be as exact as you can. The more accurate it is, the more accurate you are, the uh, better your reception will be. Okay. Uh, again, like I said before, I'm not going to get into all that uh, wavelength stuff and how this works. It's very interesting to study on it, but I'm not. Uh, I'm not interested in all that right now. I just watch free TV. Okay. So what we want to do then is we got get all these made up, right? And you got them all installed. You're running your you're running your wire here underneath there. You got to make sure you make contact at these points here. You got that transformer on there. You got all these down here. Oh, excuse me. Ah, I'm getting too old to bend over. You got all them running just like that now. All right, right on down. Put your transformer in the middle. And folks, that's it. I mean, that's it. So, if there's anything I haven't explained care uh, carefully enough for you, let me know. Uh, again, it's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. There's eight pieces of 14 gauge wire, 20 inches long. And then there's two pieces of a smaller gauge wire, approximately, well, that's nine and a half, nine and a half, nine and a half. That's, that's 20. The 28 and a half inches, so they're approximately 30, maybe 32 inches long. And uh, now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut up and I'm gonna let y'all see if I get any better reception than I did on my other video. Now that I've tuned this up, I had actually just had this laying around and I didn't have it all lined up. Oh, I meant to tell you again, all these need to be in the same plane, the more even they are, the better. Imagine you've got a string up here, you let it hang down, it ought to touch every wire. You know, y'all, you want it to be smooth, okay? Smoother it is, better it is. There's people that, that have put uh, <coughs> screens on the back of them to reflect the signal and all that, and that might work for you, I don't know. Anyway, I'm rambling. Thank you very much, and uh, have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Just letting you see here that I, I put the antenna on top of a 20 foot stick of square tubing and we're already not halfway through scanning we've already got 10 channels. I'm going to uh, turn off the camera for a minute. Just showing you what a good picture you get. <laughs> Now what I did is I got my antenna out of the trees. I got it off of the trees and I stuck it up there. That's not very high. This is a about a 20 foot stick or it might not be that tall. About 15 foot stick of uh, square tubing. And I took a wood handle out of a toilet plunger and shaved it down to fit inside the square tube and shaved it down to fit inside that pipe. But what I will show you is that's pointing towards Huntsville. Now if I go in to try to watch Nashville channels, I can't get them. I have to turn it like that to get Nashville. And uh, anyway, you got to point. You got to point towards. You got to point towards the city you want. So. That, that right there is towards the city limit, or towards the broadcast stations in Huntsville, and and uh, you just have to look at your map to determine where are the cities for you to pick up. I hope that helps.